It's unbelievable, but these are live streamers in China trying to act like happy influencers in the most depressing office you have ever seen. Why are these girls working like this for hours? Are they forced to do this? This is the dark side of China's influencer factories. See, the easiest way for you to understand how this scheme works is to think about this industry the same way you think about many products made in China. They're made to be cheap, produced like fast food and often not meant to last long. Only for these women, they are the product being sold. <laughs> With zero experience they enter these influencer factories to be trained for up to two months, performing at least 6 to 12 hours daily in front of the camera. They sell products, sing, dance, chat with random strangers online, with some of them earning as low as $120 per month. Imagine having one building lined up with cubicles upon cubicles of dozens of pretty female live streamers who are meant to seem like they're just doing their passion to their audiences, each one guided by an agent who dictates how they should look. And the sad part? Just like China made products that can only be good for so long, the manufactured fame of these everyday live streamers usually lasts for up to six months max. Now, as I see this, I cannot help but think that this operates like a brothel, right? And this is how this industry starts to sound even more shady. Because since every female has to overperform in order to get tips, they are forced to entertain the audience who pays the most. Lonely men. Lonely men who are willing to send them virtual gifts by having these women sing to them or chat with them about their day. And once these pretty live streamers have built a solid loyal fan base, the incredibly lucky 0.01% of them, that is how they're able to finally earn big, taking home about 30 to 45 thousand dollars a month. In fact, China alone houses more than 900 live streaming platforms with a willing audience of nearly 560 million people. It is a thriving industry that profits on loneliness and it seems like it's not going away anytime soon, meaning more attractive Chinese girls will continue to find themselves performing like modern slaves in depressing camps like these. And as much as I feel bad for these women stuck in such a toxic industry, this video actually is not just about China. It's about how all of us should realize that in a world where we all seem more connected than ever, somehow we are only making ourselves even lonelier. From the influencers chasing fame, doing things they're ashamed of, to the audience just wanting to be noticed, but never quite getting the real thing. At the end of the day, no matter where you come from, we all just deserve to be treated the same.